Siri shortcuts are one of the most underrated features of an iPhone, especially when it comes to quickly controlling your smart home devices without having to open up an additional app. And in this video, we'll look at seven next level Siri shortcut ideas for your Apple smart home and various ways that you can run them. I'll show you how you can control devices like a HomePod, an Apple TV, smart locks, cameras, and more, all from a shortcut and briefly how to set them up. All the shortcut links will be available in the description below for the ones that I can share so you can add them to your smart home and easily tweak them to your liking. First up is a shortcut to intercom to other HomePods in your house. Intercom allows you to send and receive audio messages from one HomePod to another HomePod in different rooms or on iOS devices. If there are phrases that you say often to your HomePod, then you can create this shortcut to have the HomePod automatically say that phrase. You can quickly intercom that dinner is ready and Siri will announce this message to all of your HomePods. Dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. Unfortunately, you're not able to choose a specific HomePod in a room, only zones or rooms, and the HomePods in those zones or rooms set up in the Apple Home app will play the intercom message. So this means that if you have multiple HomePods in a room, then this message will play on all of your HomePods. You could also add other actions to the shortcut, like setting the volume of the HomePod, adding HomeKit scenes to change the colors of lights, or playing music on the HomePod. This shortcut is ran on a personal device, like an iPhone or an iPad. So the language and the voice type of Siri will be the voice and the language set up in the Siri settings on your personal device, and not the voice that's set up on the HomePod in the Apple Home app. Speaking of the Apple Home app, one way to quickly and easily control your smart home devices without having to open up the Apple Home app is by using a shortcut widget on your iPhone or your iPad's home screen. I created a HomeKit controls menu-based shortcut that asks me what HomeKit scene to set, device to control, the status of a sensor, and then runs the actions set in the shortcut. So this action runs my house lights off scene, and as you can tell, my house lights are turning off. And this action gets the status of my office fan. If it's off, then it will turn on. And if the fan is on, then it will turn off. And with this action here, I can check on the status of a back gate contact sensor that will say if my back gate is opened or closed. There are different widget sizes for shortcuts and multiple pages of shortcut widgets can be added if you want to add multiple shortcuts. This idea is similar to using the Home Widget app, which will do almost the same thing as this shortcut can, but we'll dive deeper into the Home Widget app in a different video. Speaking of videos, another idea for a shortcut is being able to quickly view a HomeKit camera on your iPhone's home screen without having to open up the Apple Home app. I use a shortcut in the today view that will ask me what camera that I want to view, either something like the backyard or the side door camera that will then open the live feed of those cameras, or I can choose to view all the cameras at once and the shortcut will display the live feed of all the cameras. This shortcut is great for reviewing your cameras at a quick glance instead of having to open up the home app then trying to choose your camera to view the live feed. I am using the app HomeCam for this and created a menu based shortcut that asks me what camera to display or if I want to view them all at once, the shortcut will open up the HomeCam app. HomeCam is $5 and I think it's worth the money since it has extra features like being able to control nearby accessories from within the HomeCam app. But a free alternative is using the Eve app, though the Eve app can only show you all your cameras at once and not a single camera at a time. I will leave a link to both apps down in the description below. This next shortcut will have Siri announce on your HomePods when a water leak has been detected. This is using a water leak sensor. I'm using this one by Akara. Then you'll create a shortcut with a speak text action of what you want Siri to say. Then create a basic automation in the Apple Home app that when a leak has been detected, then to play this message on all the HomePods and you can even use it to change the colors of your lights like a blue to indicate water. The message that Siri plays could be your own voice from a voice recording or a sound or song from your Apple Music library. This same concept can be applied when a garage door or other door is open or left open for a certain time period. Say like after five minutes, then Siri can announce that a door is still open. I've made a step-by-step -step tutorial video on how to set this up, which I will leave linked right up here or right up here if you want to go and check that video out. One of my favorite and most used Siri shortcuts is a watch TV shortcut. This shortcut will wake the Apple TV, ask me what app to open, and then open the app. 
then turn on my lamp and the light strip behind my TV and display a confirmation message whenever everything is done. This is a fast and easy way to start watching a show or a movie instead of having to do everything by hand, like turn on the TV, turn on your accessories, and open up an app. Everything in this shortcut is fully customizable. Which Apple TV to turn on if you have more than one, the list of apps to open, devices to control from HomeKit, the message the shortcut displays and what Siri says, and you could even go as far as having different colored lights for each app. Now this shortcut cannot open up a specific show or a movie within an app. It can only open up the app itself. So you still need to use the remote to browse for a TV show or a movie. There are many ways that you can run this shortcut, like on a phone using a widget, on an Apple Watch, or even telling Siri on a HomePod. If you are running this shortcut from a HomePod, then I would recommend having a speak text action at the beginning of the shortcut so the HomePod can audibly tell you if she heard you, her running shortcut and then another speak text action at the end to say the shortcut was completed but this is completely optional controlling the apple tv from my apple watch is my favorite way to run this shortcut from a shortcut complication and with just a few taps i can get my apple tv turned on and start watching something right away right now i'm watching 20,000 leagues under the sea on disney plus let me know if you've seen this movie down in the comment section below this next shortcut i use for keeping my pets safe I have two small dogs and we have a big backyard for them to play in during the day. And I have an Akara contact sensor on the back gate so I can see if the back gate is closed or open from my phone before I let them outside. Instead of manually checking the Apple Home app to see if this door is opened or closed, a shortcut automatically runs at 6.30 in the morning and tells me the status of the back gate. If it's open, I'm reminded to close it back. If it's closed, I can let them out to use the bathroom. This has been helpful as a good reminder to me to keep the back gate closed because sometimes I forget to close the back gate back. This same concept could also be applied to receiving a status report of what important devices are currently on or off or opened or closed, like if a secure system is armed or if a garage door or window is open. To take things further and get more advanced, an app called Push Cuts allows you to convert a HomeKit action into a shortcut, and this is wild. So using my back gate as an example again, when my back gate is open, I receive an alert that it's open, and I have the option to view my back gate camera to see who opened it and what's going on. This is using another convert to shortcut action in the Apple Home app, then runs a push cut automation that then runs a Siri shortcut to open up the back gate camera from the Home Cam app. This shortcut is pretty complex since there are multiple steps, but Pushcuts allows you to create some pretty complex and advanced automations. Now Pushcuts is free to use, but only allows for a single action. Whereas with the pro version, you're able to add multiple actions to a shortcut, like being able to run a shortcut or call a spouse from within an interactive notification. You could also use this to be alerted if a device is left on after a certain time period when it should be off and can quickly turn off a device without having to open up the home app. Let me know if you would like a full video on push cuts. For more Siri shortcut ideas, check out this playlist right here and let me know down in the comment section below what Siri shortcuts that you guys use in your smart home. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see y'all in the next one.